Welcome to DIY Design by CCW, DIY Design for the 21st Century. My name is Candy and I'm the host of this channel. Now let's get into this video. Well, hello everyone. Welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a couple of different DIYs. Um, now, the first DIY, I'm going to be using a Dollar Tree bowl, as well as a uh, candle uh, holder that I thrifted. And we're going to be using some leftover crystals from another project and uh, a Dollar Tree mirror. Uh, we'll also use uh, some seed beads as well as some Mod Podge and some glitter and we're going to get started. So the first thing you're going to see me do is I will be gluing, uh, using hot my hot glue gun to glue the crystals, again they were leftover pieces from another project, to the back of my Dollar Tree mirror. Now. Um, it's going to take me a couple minutes here to develop a process that actually really works. Uh, I typically work with a different glue, so I'm struggling a little bit at first, but I do get the hang of it and realize that what works best is if I put the, you know, place the hot glue and then put my uh, crystal in place. Now, once I get that all worked out uh, and the crystals are all in place, what I'll do is also add some Gorilla Glue, the clear uh, Gorilla Glue, just to make sure that my crystals don't fall off, you know, eventually. And then uh, once they're all attached, we'll put the mirror aside and we'll start on the next part of the DIY. Now, if you do this, you want to obviously leave the mirror uh, face down like this until uh, you're sure that your, your glue has set and cured completely. Looks like I'm almost done. I've got one more here to do. Or two more, maybe. And again, then uh, I'll go around and add a little more hot glue to each and then come back with the Gorilla Glue and then I'll push the uh, put the mirror aside and we'll move on. Now um, when I did this or shot this video I was out of my favorite glue. I typically like to use E6000 Quick Hold and if you use that you typically can eliminate the hot glue. I uh, just didn't happen to have any when I was doing this project. Okay, we'll set that aside and now we're going to bring out the gloss Mod Podge and uh, we're going to be using a five inch Dollar Tree bowl and what I'm going to do at first is mix some of the gloss Mod Podge with regular, sil uh, regular silver glitter and when I say regular I mean that kind that you go and buy for craft projects from maybe a Walmart not that fine uh, glitter so we're going to mix that into a nice little paste and then we're going to paint uh, this mixture on the bowl and uh, then we're going to follow up with seed beads and the seed beads I purchased those from uh, Joanne Fabrics they're typically $4.99 a pack I got them for two for one, so I got two packs for $4.99 and I needed two packs to complete uh, both of the projects that we're going to do today. So I'm just adding a little more glitter 
I want a really nice little shine from the glitter. Now you'll notice when you if you do it this way. Now if you buy glitter and Mod Podge pre-mixed, it's usually smooth. But when you add your own uh, like that with glitter, it's going to be a little bit lumpy, but it still works out just fine. So here we go. I've switched to a different angle so that you can see what I'm doing a little better. And uh, I'm going to be painting the entire bowl. Um, what you want to do if you work with seed beads, it's sort of like crushed glass. Not quite as heavy, but heavier than glitter. So you definitely want to work section by section. So you'll see me paint one section and then apply my seed beads and then go to another section. Uh, that way I can lock uh, the seed beads into the glitter um, and I don't get, you know, fall. And again, the seed beads are made by Hildy and Joe. They come in different shapes, different colors. Gives you something different, you know. If you want to do a Mod Podge treatment, you don't want to do crushed glass, you don't want to do glitter. Seed beads are a nice, uh, you know, nice, um, just to give you a different look, let's just say. And you also now, when you're working with these, you don't need to be really heavy. Uh, actually, if you applied them very heavy, they'd actually slide off the glass. I learned that. <laughs> I did a project that didn't turn out because I put them on too heavy. So you want to layer them on slowly, evenly, but you're going to have some spacing. You're not going to, this is not like glitter, you know, where you're, where you're laying on a thick layer, um, which is another reason I'm using the glitter mixture to just add that little layer beneath. And uh, I think it's going to come out nice, but we'll see. You guys will tell me what you think when it's all done. So again, you see me here just working section by section. Now, as you're applying them, you want to stop every now and then uh, and just pat the seed beads down and make sure that they're laying completely in the uh, glitter. Here I'm going back and just making sure uh, I fill in uh, spaces where it's a little too bare or maybe I missed a spot. Again, it's more about being even, not really making a, um, making a thick application. All right, so we've placed the bowl aside and we're going to let that uh, Mod Podge dry and let it set. And what we're doing now is gluing. We've, we've let our mirror, our, our glue uh, cure on our mirror with our crystals. 
and uh, now we're going to glue them on to the base. I decided not to do anything to this base. Guys, I thrifted this base. It's solid crystal. Uh, it may not show up on camera, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So it really didn't need anything. Uh, here I'm just using a mixture of the E6000, uh, regular E6000 glue and the hot glue. And uh, then I'm going to glue this uh, base to the mirror or glue the mirror to the base. Now you'll see I place it, but then I'm going to flip it upside down because it's a lot easier upside down to see if you actually have the uh, cylinder or base or whatever it is in the middle. And then we're just going to let it sit like this until it's completely set. Now here you see, because I had to move it a little bit, I'm just adding a little bit more hot glue just to make sure I have a good seal. And we can't press too hard because it's glass, uh, but then we're going to just set that aside. Um, so now I am working on the cylinders. And you'll see here I have the, um, what I've done is tr cut a piece of uh, ribbon. And uh, these are just Dollar Tree cylinders, by the way. I've, I've got a piece of the um, bling wrap. And the bling wrap, you've seen me use this bling wrap before, guys, by the way. Uh, it, basically all it is is a... Um, it's a fabric trim and I buy it for it's about $4.99 a yard or I'm sorry it's $6.99 a yard but I bought this for $4.99 a yard and it's um, with a coupon and again it comes from Joanne Fabric And I'm actually noticing as I'm watching this that this is actually out of sequence. So it looks like what I did was do the cylinder and I, f I filmed it, obviously, but I did the cylinder while I was letting the mirror dry. So you did kind of get to see these clips a little bit out of uh, sequence. Because if you'll notice that that base is still over in the corner there so but that's all right that's the magic of editing right now here I just put uh, I cut a second strip and my thought was to just put bling wrap at the top and the bottom of the cylinders I just think this bling wrap is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have to purchase more. I did also buy it in like a gold bronze uh, color. And I think I've done at least one DIY with the other color too. So here you see me just cleaning up the glue. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, then you know I like to use the wet dry q-tip method uh, to clean up any excess glue so that my projects you know looks neat nothing ruins a project more than messy glue so once we get this all cleaned up uh, then we're going to be doing the same uh, type of treatment to the cylinders that we did to the uh, bowl so here we are back again. We're mixing up again another batch of uh, the gloss Mod Podge and the silver glitter. And really, there's no formula for this. Just mix it until you think it's the way you want it to be. 
I'm sure you could, I could have put a little more in there if I wanted to, but, um, you know, it's just going by your feeling, you know, what you think is enough. So here you see, I've switched to another angle just so I can get a little closer and, you know, to the camera and let you see what I'm doing. So after this, guys, I'll, I'll do the same treatment with the seed beads. Then I'm going to attach uh, the base. And again, this is going to be another thrifted base, a solid crystal base. Uh, and I actually bought the all three bases at the same time. Uh, got them all for less than $250, something like that. Uh, and then hang on because you're going to see the big reveal. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is how the uh, cylinders and the bowl uh, turned out. I really, really like them. Um, I'm, as you know, guys, I always try to style them with other DIYs that I've made, you know, just to see how they all uh, come together. Uh, the two cylinders on the end are part of a, another DIY. The bases uh, on the end with the crystals are a part of another DIY. And I'll make sure that I link those videos in the description box and in the i cards and maybe in the comments too. Now let me get a little bit closer. Let you see how... Um, the new cylinders turned out. I really like them. I think the idea of uh, combining the um, the seed beads with the glitter mixed with the uh, the high gloss Mod Podge and glitter mixed together really gives it a gives them a nice shine. Um, again, I really like them, but you let me know what you think. And um, I love the one in the center. And again, guys, the bases on the sides where the crystals are hanging down, that was some old martini glasses that I had found two. I could never find the other two. I could never get the whole set. Like I bought two on clearance. Was never able to find the other two. So I ended up using them and turning them into those bases. Um, the bases were originally made to go with um, a set of round bowls that I did. But again, I didn't glue them together because I wanted the flexibility of switching out uh, whatever candle holders or whatever it is that I put on top. And I really like the way they look. 
Now again in the middle, these crystals are left over from another project that I did that was similar uh, to the ones on the end. And um, I just love it. I love how everything turned out. Again, the bases were thrifted and everything else came from the Dollar Tree. And a few things came from like the bling wrap and uh, the crystals themselves, all of that. And of course, the seed beads, all of that came from Joanne Fabrics. But anyway, tell me what you think. Again, I welcome all of your comments. And uh, as I always say, be they good, bad, or indifferent, I just appreciate you taking the time to pop over and watch the video. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not a member of this channel, I really hope that you'll subscribe today. I would love to have you be a member of the family. So again, um, thank you for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night. Bye-bye.